Now, we've had an important warning about Britain's recovery too. The National Institute for Economic and Social Research says the UK economy will grow less than forecast this year. It says the government should cut taxes to boost the recovery. One of Britain's biggest property builders is not helping that recovery. Taylor Wimpey has just reported a first-half loss of £4.2 million. That's compared with a profit of £7.5 million a year before. It's blaming falling home sales. And we have Taylor Wimpey's chief executive, Pete Redfern, with us now. Mr Redfern, good to see you. Let's talk about Britain first. Just how much of, it, how much of a struggle is it being a builder in Britain? Uh Today. I'm very happy to do that, but first of all, can I just correct the numbers that you just talked about? We've actually reported a 32% growth in profits this year, um, driven almost entirely from the UK. So I actually didn't recognise the numbers that you just quoted. Um, coming back to the question, um, the sort of UK housing market we found to be very stable. And stable does mean pretty flat, but actually quite a good environment in which we can, as I just said, uh, grow our profitability and uh, our returns quite significantly. But do you not think that there are increasing signs that home prices and sales are going to continue to decline, notably in the second half? That must be a big worry. Um, I think what we've seen, and you know, obviously we're in the second half already, is quite a, a solid July. And you know, we're not in any way blind to the challenges of the international economy. Um, but in the UK, particularly in housing where supply is very constrained, um, we're actually finding a pretty stable market. And whilst yeah, we're running the business pretty cautiously, uh, we are not seeing imminent signs of a, of a downturn in the second half. Well, what signals are you hearing about mortgage lending improving as the year progresses and as we move into 2012? Are you seeing any signs at all? We are. They're small signs, but there are more, more mortgage products available. There are certainly slightly better products, higher loan to values available for first time buyers. There's a a lot of discussion going on about getting 90 and 95 percent mortgages going again. I don't think we want to see it go further than that, but we see that as being a, a core product for first time buyers. So we don't expect suddenly things to get dramatically better, but we're seeing, as I say, an awful lot of stability and quite a solid market in the UK. Do you think home builders will need to do more write downs next year? Uh, I would be very surprised. There would have to be a dramatic change in the market for us to do more write downs. I mean, we set out a sort of target for double digit, as in 10% plus operating margins in 2012, three years ago. We got to about 9.5% in the first half of this year, so, so very close already. And actually, in that kind of environment, the prospect of write downs is a long way away. You've been building homes in Spain for some 50 years. You must be extremely concerned that things are not getting any better there at all. Well, you do have to put it into perspective. Our Spanish business is 1% of our group. I mean, we sold 30 homes in Spain in the first half of the year and 4,700 in the UK. So, you know, from, a, from an overall group point of view, it's not really a material part of the business. I mean, the market there is very tough, totally different to the conditions I just described in the UK. And we expect that to continue for some time. But I don't think we can, any of us can claim that's a surprise. I mean, it's been very clear that, um, you know, the Spanish economy, along with other southern European economies, is, is going to struggle for a while. What sort of homes are doing better for you right now? Is it that uh, rush to luxury? We talked about luxury cars earlier in the programme. Is it luxury homes that are actually doing well for you? Uh, not particularly. I mean, we're, we're doing reasonably well across the board. But I think if you were to choose one particular product area, customer group that you know, is sort of is strongest, it, it's the smaller homes. And it's, it's people buying because of need, you know, people buying first-time move-up homes who are having children, rather than the more discretionary buyer. So luxury homes are doing OK, but people don't need to move into a luxury home. They can put it off for another year. So that market is, yeah, pricing is good, but, but volumes are quite low. So it's the core ordinary house buyer that's, that's driving most of our volumes at the moment. OK, Pete Redfern, thank you very much indeed. Let me just uh, clarify the figures that we gave you. Mr Redfern was talking about operating profit. We here at Bloomberg always talk about net income, and the net loss was £4.2 million in the six months to July the 3rd, the net income figure.